Hey, my oily friends. This is your girl, oily girl Emma slash over 50 life chick over in Instagram. But today, I'm coming to you with uh, YouTube and just popping in and popping out, which I need to probably do better than that. But anyway, what I'm talking about today is the products that I use on my face. Some products I got from... Uh, of course Young Living and there's some other products I got from uh, Ulta and some from uh, Sephora so but they all hopefully they all natural at least that's what you see but anyway I'm just going to go over a few things that I use in my uh, regimen of getting you know my face to look pretty decent or I love skin care and I want my skin to be subtle subtle if that's in the right word I want it to bounce back what girl don't but I'm gonna start off with the cleansers and this got got up gotta give props to my young living this is mirror luminous cleansing oil and let me tell you, it is it's awesome. The smell is so, mm, I don't know what smell that it is, but it does tell you what uh, oils is in it. And I'm going to look over here on my, in my book to tell you about it. And it helps you to see what you're dealing with. And in this mirror cleansing oil, it says, it, no harsh cleansers on your face. 10 essential oils. It's got rose, ylang ylang, and it's got the carrier oil, jojoba, aragon, which is supposed to removes poor clogging impurities from your face without stripping away the natural oils of your skin. Well, you know, I have oily skin and I found that it doesn't produce more oil when I put, you know, use it as a cleanser. So this is an awesome, awesome, awesome cleanser. These are one of, this is, this is one of my ride and dies. And I found this at Ulta. Oh, was it support? It was support. I'm sorry. It's called kale. It's kale plus green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood cleanser, and it's by Youth to the People. That's the name of the company. And let me see if I can show it to y'all. If you can see it. Uh oh, there it is. But this is a good cleansing oil as well. It lathers up pretty decently. It don't have a particular smell, but it really does the job. I alternate. Sometimes I use my mirror, and then I use the kale. But then, at night, this is what I use. My Young Living Art Gentle Cleanser. And it is, it's good as well. I'm going to have to get me some more. I'm down to about maybe right there. But it's a good night cleanser that refreshes my face and helps. You know, it just, it's just a good feeling. But I alternate. I found this at, um, at Ulta this past weekend. And it's by Pacifica. You can see it. Glare Pacifica. I never knew that existed, but I looked around and I saw the natural um, products and it says here that is it's vegan, which I'm vegan, and it's uh, cruelty free, sulfate free, it's a ro rose kombucha, which I drink kombucha, hey, nice touch flowered powdered face wash so I've used this uh, I have used this a couple of times and it's pretty good it's got that rose 
rose smell and it's tripping out. It's a little runny, but it does the job and I like it. I like the smell. Like I said, it's 100% vegan, cruelty free. Uh, let's see what else it has here for all skin types. Like I said, my skin is oily and I don't produce more oil when I use it. Now this one I alternate in the daytime. I'm hoping this is uh, pretty clean. Crave. 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 I say crave. Foaming facial wash. It's for normal to oily skin. So it's, it's a pretty good one too. And it's for oil control. Like I said, I have oily skin. It says it's fragrance free. It's um, helps calm the skin, won't clog the pores, non-irritating, non-drying. So I use this in the daytime, if you can see, and it does pretty good. I guess y'all say you, you're using a whole lot of different stuff, but you know, you know how us girls are. We have to, um, we have to try different stuff to see what works for our face. But this one this one right here definitely gotta get some try it it's awesome now for my oil or the moisturizer with the uh, pacifica they got a day and night face cream dreamy youth and that's what that looks like and it's also it's, it's cruelty free 100 vegan for all skin types it's pretty good too. It don't dry my face out and I appreciate that because I'm trying to go natural with not only my hair but my natural products. And of course you know the Art Light Moisturizer from Young Living. Let's see if I can get it. If y'all can see it. The light might be too too bright, but I'm too bright. But it's the come on baby. Focus for me, boo. But anyway. Okay, that's it. Somewhat. But it's the Young Living Art Light Moisturizer, which I love. It goes on and it makes makes your feel, face feel matte. You know, and I guess if you got um, oily skin, I guess that's basically what you need, right? But uh, it's very good. I like it. Sometimes I'll show you what I mix it with sometimes. It's a light moisturizer. Helps your skin retain and maintain proper hydration. And it goes, of course, it's, it uh, gently goes over the face and your neck. You got to get your neck as well because, you know, your, ne your, your neck ages too. So we want to keep that up and going. And I use jojoba oil. It's pretty good. I found this where, unfortunately, I found this at uh, TJ Maxx. But, you know, I think it's got some pretty good ingredients in there. I do believe it's sunflower seed oil, uh, lemongrass. What else? Got, I can read it here. Let's see, some things I can't read because it's oily. <laughs> I got it oily, but let me show you what I put in this whole oil. I put from Young Living, you can see it. I put the Young Living Dry Skin Serum. I put that, I think I put like three or four drops in that and that is supposed to help with dry skin but like I said I don't have dry skin but it still helps with my skin you know and it leaves it feeling nice and dewy but it got let's see it's got blue cypress lavender which we know lavender restores skin's natural moisture it has that in the lavender in there and lavender is good not only to calm you down, but it's good for the skin. You can put lavender in your bath water. 
you can't beat it. If you can put it in the bath water, you can put it on your face. So it's a good it's a good thing. I like it. I've been wanting to get some of that. And let's see what else. Last but not least, this I don't know. I think I might have to look this up. Sipperfill. See, there it go. Pro for oily skin. I'm gonna have to see if this got some yucky stuff in it because you know I use it I put some let's see what did I put in there I put some frank in there some frankincense frankincense you can see it frankincense is real good for the skin you put it in your lotions and I thought well if this got some yucky stuff in it I put some frank in there maybe it'll help it out a little bit so you know it's some real it, it helps. Y'all let me know if my skin is okay. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of my skin. Is it okay with my regimen that I'm using? Like I said, I'm trying to find the natural products. Uh, Young Living, of course, for me is the best. But we like to venture out. Like I said, we venture out to see what other products we can find that hopefully come up to or equal to Young Living Standards and how they, you know, they make sure the product is on the up and up. But that is what I use. And also, I put lavender. Let's see. I think I put some lavender in. What? I forgot what I put in. I might have put, it in, put some in here. Because... It's all about skin care. It's all about making your skin, you know, bounce back and look very, very subtle there. I know I'm not using the right word, so forgive me, okay? But uh, that's, the, that's the products that I use for my, my regimen, my routine that I do in the day and at night. It seems to help very well. You know, being 56, going on 57, hopefully I look pretty decent. But give me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let, let me know what your regimen is. What do you use? What do you use to keep your face uh, from getting, you know, dried out or whatever the case, or too oily, whichever the one, or combination. But like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm oily. I'm straight up oily. So... I have to be careful with what I use. But I'm finna close it because I don't want to be too long. But give comments down below. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, subscribe button, and hit that little bell, that little gray bell, so you can see me upload more videos about different con content. Content. Can't talk today. But if there's anything else you want me to talk about, let me know. Leave a comment down below, and I'll talk about it. I think the next time I'll probably get on here talking about my hair regimen. I've been wanting to do that for a minute and tell you what I use and tell you some of the stuff I found that are that's natural. And like I said, this is 4C natural hair for all you girls out there that's 4C. Holler back at me, tell me what y'all use, and see if, you know, your journey is similar to my journey. But anyway, I'm going to close out. Didn't want to stay too long. Y'all have a good day today, and I'll be back talking about some more product. And have a nice day. Bye.